Robert Walpole lived from 1676 to 1745, was a British statesman who served as the first Prime Minister of Great Britain from 1721 to 1742. He was born into a wealthy family and educated at Eton College and King's College, Cambridge. He entered politics in 1701 as a member of parliament for Castle Rising and quickly became known for his skill as a debater and his ability to work across party lines. Walpole rose to prominence in the early 18th century, serving in various ministerial positions under successive monarchs. He became the leading figure in the Whig Party, which was then the dominant political force in Britain, and was appointed First Lord of the Treasury and Chancellor of the Exchequer in 1715. He held these positions for six years, during which time he worked to strengthen the country's finances and restore stability after the tumultuous years following the Glorious Revolution of 1688. In 1721, Walpole became the first person to hold the title of Prime Minister, although the term was not yet in common use. He continued to serve in this position for over two decades, overseeing a period of relative peace and prosperity for Britain. His government focused on maintaining stability at home and abroad, promoting economic growth, and expanding the country's colonial empire. Walpole's tenure was not without controversy, however. He faced criticism for his policies on taxation and trade, and his handling of the South Sea Bubble financial crisis of 1720 was widely criticized. He also faced opposition from other political factions, including the Tories and the rising power of the Jacobites. Despite these challenges, Walpole remained a highly influential figure in British politics until his resignation in 1742. He is remembered as a skilled and pragmatic statesman who played a crucial role in shaping the modern British state. His legacy can be seen in the enduring institutions and practices of British government, including the role of the Prime Minister, the system of party politics, and the principles of fiscal responsibility and economic growth that continue to guide policy today.